guys, I'm Lindsay Carl. Welcome to The Scoop. And I'm super excited today to be welcoming Jonah Shao to the show. How are you doing today? I'm great, and that's a great pronunciation of my name. <laughs> How are you? When's the last time you've been on a college campus? Oh, it's been a while. I actually went to USC, so it brings back a lot of memories. Um, this building I took classes in. So, <laughs> What was your major? Were you in acting? So I did a theater minor, and I did okay. a joint degree with business and cinematic arts. Oh, so the wow. business side of the industry is what I studied. So right after you graduated college, were you more focused on um, business and getting into like agencies or what, what made you I, get into acting? Uh, all of the above. Like I started acting when I was really young um, and I did like a school play and class play, then school plays. And so that's where I started falling in love with acting. And then in college, I started really doing more on the business side of the industry because I realized that side I was really clueless about <laughs> and needed to learn that side. And so um, I started working in like casting agency, producing, studied it in school and was like acting throughout too. So it was kind of like balancing both. So that's gotten you far. For those of you who don't know, Jonah is going to be in the newest Spider-Man that is coming out in July, July 7th, 2017. Okay. So exciting. So how's that process been for you? I mean, it seems like it's been a whirlwind. And yeah, I um, I really, I, I love being part of such an amazing project with just uh, amazing people. And I found out, so I can't unfortunately reveal anything about my role or the storyline, but what okay. I can say is like it's, this is like the first project that uh, Marvel's doing for Superman, and so it's going to be different from the previous Spider-Man movies, because I've like watched all of the Spider-Man movies and loved all of them, and I think this one just brings like a different vibe, like okay. Tom Holland's playing Spider-Man, and he's right. more sarcastic, and it's him in high school, so it's like a younger version and a coming-of-age story. And I found out my first day on set that one of my favorite actors of all time actually helped select me for the role. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> so, Can we ask who that is? Or is that on the DL? One of, it's one of the stars of the film <laughs> who <laughs> like, I've just huge. admired for, like, a long time. And I was like, when I found that out, I was like, <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> like, I, great. Thank you so much. I, I'm flattered and I'm really grateful to you for part of the reason I'm here right now so uh it's it was a great process I wrapped filming and I was shooting in Atlanta and I'm just okay. really excited for people to watch the film now just backtracking a little bit mm -hmm. um did you act in any plays at USC so I studied I did a theater minor here and plays oh man I don't I think I did like a school play, okay. but I did do several uh, student film projects. Oh, you did? Yeah, with some like undergrads and graduate film uh, film students. Okay, I just had to backtrack. <laughs> I was very curious about that. Gotcha. Yeah. So <laughs> I like recovering perfectionists. Yes. yes. <laughs> so speaking of recovering perfectionists, mm -hmm. is there any advice you could give us, USC people, actresses, actors, or even anyone in business or whatever field they're in? Yeah, I, you know, for me, Early on, I feel like I tried really hard to fit into the industry because growing up, like, uh, especially being one of very few Asians in my graduating class, like, I felt kind of like an outsider in many ways and always tried to fit in. And so I tried to do the same in this, you know, crazy entertainment industry. <laughs> and what I came to realize is, like, the more um, I just embraced who I was and, like, my flaws and insecurities and quirks and, like, like I'm very type A. I'm kind of a control freak. Love it. I, uh... <laughs> Like, I'm a little neurotic. I'm a bit of an overthinker. And, like, some of the, the characters I end up playing and what makes me unique is when I get to showcase that side of me that maybe, as a person, I've tried to hide in the past or right. I've tried to, like, suppress. But those things really help me stand out. And then I would also say, like, finding your community is huge. Like, I was always really an independent, but realizing, like, you know, I have an amazing, like, team of agents and a, an incredible manager and publicity team and um actor friends that support me and friends and family and just surrounding yourself with people that believe in you and that challenge you and push you like has been something that's really been impactful for me um i love the quote successful people do it themselves but never alone i love that yeah it's a great quote so i try to live by it as oh, much as possible i really appreciate that advice mm -hmm. really um fun. so you love comedy mm -hmm. Fun and flirty girl. We <laughs> love it. What's your favorite dance move? I think it's the same.
St. Louis thing, and I was raised in St. Louis, and we do this thing called the pancake. And it looks... Oh, please. Uh, you could... So you do like this. <laughs> so when you're dancing, oh. it's like... And it's a little harder than it looks. Like, I'm a fan. To, like... It's a weird dance move, but it's... I feel like... Egyptian vibe. <laughs> like, yeah, it's like the pancake. Like, you're flipping a pancake. Did you pull that out on set on Spider-Man at all? <laughs> I did not. You know, maybe for the sequel. <laughs> Jonah, watch out for her. She is big stuff. And follow her on Instagram. What yeah. is your Instagram? Thank you. So my Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, you can find me at J-O-N-A-X-I-A-O. So just my first and last name. I'll be following you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much for coming. We really appreciate it. Thank you.